Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you this very nice website and I already did a video uh, about uh, Open Library, which is another great website, is in collaboration with the Internet Archive, which has like a million plus books that you can download for free. You know, they are uh, mainly, let's say, eight years old, uh, 100 years old books, so they are copyright free, so they are in public domain, so you can download without problems. So there you find mainly PDF file, at least the originals, they are just scans, mostly coming from uh, the library, you know, around America, Europe, etc. But here you find uh, uh, on, uh, on Project Gutenberg, you know, you find mostly EPUB and Kindle books. So Kindle is proprietary software, while EPUB it's open source, so normally I just download EPUB. Also, I don't have a e-reader from Amazon or crap like that, you know. Anyway, let's let's browse this website. I have to say that you have also some uh, audiobook. Okay, if you go around the website, you you can find them. There is a specific uh, category, so maybe you can just book go book categories here. It's quite slow, my internet connection right now. Maybe it's just Gutenberg, I don't know. So you have to be patient. Let's see here. By the way, there are also other languages, you know. And this is for the for the bookshelves. But you can find, by the way, some, some books in other languages, just Chinese, Finnish, or uh, I don't know, Spanish, that they are not listed in here, you know. Okay, so I cannot find an audiobook, but they are somewhere. There is just a specific category with a human read audiobook or a computer read audiobook, which sounds very creepy, but you can find also those. So let me go back and let me try to open just a random book here. Let's try this one. As you can see here, there is the EPUB with images or with no images, and it's super lightweight, really. On open libraries, some PDFs, some book can reach also 20 megabytes or 30 or even more sometimes, you know. But here, it's super lightweight. If you don't care about images, you can just carry thousands of them, you know, on your uh, ebook or uh, your smartphone or two. So, by the way, I have no ebook reader here, so if I try to actually open a file, it will ask me to download it, but I'm not gonna do that. And basically that's it. I don't have to show you many other things. The interesting thing here that every book, okay, has a, an ID, let's say. So if you have no idea really what to read, you can just go here and just type a random number such as this press enter and there you have your uh, random book you know let's do another one that's it shell union oil corporation very interesting <laughs> let's correct rock and shells okay and oil also i guess all right anyway i'm going to show you now a uh, ebook and by the way, I use Zatura as a PDF or document reader with the Mo, uh, MoPDF library. Okay, so I want to open and let me try Herman S. Siddhartha. As you can see, this is how they are. This is the pub. So the first page is always about the, some specific detail and then it start the actual book, you know. And they are just, as I say, super lightweight. You can just, no, I don't want to do that. There is also, by the way, the, the index here. So you can just go to the first part, second part, etc. You know, second part. So it's very clean, nothing crazy. As P EPUB, you can modify the, the background, the font, the font size. You can just modify everything. 
There is also another uh, software that I don't use, it's called uh, Calibre, I guess. Then you can have also your library and everything, but I prefer to have actually something more lightweight. All right, that's it. Another thing, if you are interested on a software on Android, if you have F-Droid, I already did a video on how to install it. There is this nice software called Document Viewer and you can just, it just reads everything. Actually, EPUB is not listed here, but it's supported as it show here, you know, Document Viewer, EPUB, this is the official website. So this is a very nice open source, totally free document viewer. It's on F-Droid. So you can have your uh, super lightweight EPUB from uh, Gutenberg and your nice document viewer from F-Droid. And that's it. All right, I hope it was helpful and see you in the next time, guys. Bye-bye.